So just a quick update on these Pseudomigo serrano dorsalis rainbow fish. Um, I kind of had an issue for a while. They weren't breeding. Uh, when I first started out, they were um, successfully colony breeding in this little 10 gallon. Um, but as the population grew, uh, that kind of stopped happening. Um, and I was wondering what's going on. So I was able to sell some of these off um, and hopefully uh, reducing the numbers. I was hoping that um, they would start having fry again, but that still wasn't happening. Um, so what I did was I put in this breather box right over here that I got from Aquarium Co-op. And then I just put this in yesterday and today there's already fry in there. Um, so what I did notice was um, I have this fake plant over here and there was a bunch of eggs in it. Some of them look pretty ready to hatch. So I just stuck it in this, this tank and voila. But yeah, these, these breeder boxes are pretty good. They have like a, a screen on the bottom and a screen on sides. And there's a, I turned off the air, but there's a, it drives some air in, into here. So it kind of circulates the air. Um, and then you can actually take out like the bottom screen and there's like larger holes. So if you had um, egg spawners, um, you could actually put the parents in here and then the eggs would drop down below. Um, I might try that for stuff like um, Celestial Pearl Daniels or something. So in this tank, I also have some Opai Ula, which is these uh, little red shrimp. Uh, these are endemic to the Hawaiian Islands. And I was kind of hoping they would be in here too. Um, pretty sure if I left them without any fish, that would be the case, but um, they're shrimplets. Um, they're free swimming, so they kind of look like food to the fish. So I don't think that was going to work. I also have um, some Nairite snails that I was hoping could hatch some eggs in here. And there's, I always find a bunch of eggs, but I've never seen um, them hatch. So I'm not sure what it is. Uh, I might have to um, make the salinity a little higher or something. Um, this is a brackish tank uh, and I keep it at around 1.015 on the hydrometer. <coughs> but anyway, yeah, just wanted to do a quick update on these guys. Thanks for watching.